hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in MVC without using entity framework how to bind data dynamically into radio buttons and here we got the final output on the browser notice we got the radio buttons are binded dynamically from the SQL server database table Ford, BMW, Honda and Bugatti. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am using MVC application, go to file, new, project and from the web templates, I am selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework, I am using 4.6.1. The application name is radio button bind click ok and from the templates I am selecting MVC ok and the project is created successfully let's close this default window open solution explorer now in this project I am adding a new controller in this controllers folder right click the controllers add controller I'm selecting MVC5 controller empty add the controller name is car add and here we got our car controller now the first step I'm adding the namespaces of SQL server using system dot data using system dot data dot SQL client the last namespace I'm adding using system.configuration after adding these three namespaces now the next step I want to add the data source in the web.config file open server explorer data connections right click that one add connection I'm adding my server name After adding SQL server name, I am selecting the database name. Sample DB is my user database. I have selected. Test connection is succeeded. OK. OK. And notice the sample db.dbo is added under data connections. We need the data source of the sample db. Right click that one. Go to properties. In the properties, under connections, there is a connection string which contains the data source just copy the whole part open solution explorer come to the bottom web.config file open that one in the web.config file there is already a connection strings what I'm doing I'm deleting this default connection string data source I'm pasting the data source which I have copied and I'm changing the connection name is my connection I switch to the controller now in the public action result index method which is a get I'm adding a string object string cars I'm adding the list class list in this list class I'm adding select select list item I'm creating an object cars object is equals to new list select item after that I'm adding my connection string properties string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I'm adding my connection string name which is my connection copy this one paste here dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is an object new SQL connection I'm adding main con string SQL query here the SQL query is a select statement before writing the select statement let's visit the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio we check the table name and the column I want to bind to the radio button list the table name I'm using 
card table which contains two columns car id and car name i want to bind this car name to the radio buttons so let's copy this table name select start from the table name sql command sql com is equals to new sql command new sql command the sql command takes two parameters the first one is a sql query and the second one is a connection object the connection object is a sql con let's add that one after that let's open the connection string sql con dot open method as well as i'm closing the connection string between open and close methods i'm adding sql data reader as dr is an object sql com dot execute reader method after that i'm using while loop while as dr dot read method i'm adding cars object this one dot add method new select list item let's close with semicolon i'm adding the text property text is equals to sdr the column name i'm adding which is a card name copy this one paste here dot to string method comma next one is a value is equals to sdr i'm adding the car id object so car id column name dot to string method and the final step in the return view i'm adding this cars object that's it we have written the coding part in this controller now we need the index view page highlight the index right click that one add view the view name is index and the template empty without model click add And here we got the index view page also. Now the first thing in this index view page, I'm adding at model. I'm adding list class. Select list item. After that, H2. I'm adding center tag. H1. MVC. how to bind data dynamically into the radio button without using entity framework adding horizontal line after that i'm adding at for each loop variable x in model at html dot radio button the first parameter is a string name between double quotes i'm adding the strings object which is a cards comma x dot value comma x dot selected comma new at id is equals to x dot value after that i'm adding the text property html dot label the label string expression x dot text property comma the second parameter is the object HTML attributes. So I'm adding new at far is equals to x dot value. That's it. We have done the complete code.
coding part to bind the data into your radio buttons. Now before running this application, the most important is we need to change the controller name in the app.config file. So open solution explorer, app underscore start, expand that one, route config dot cs open that one and notice here the controller is a home which is a default one i'm deleting that one our controller name is car let's add that one and the action is the index view page only which is this one that's it we have done everything let's check the results google chrome and here we got the final output on the browser Notice we got the radio buttons are bounded dynamically from the SQL Server database table. Ford, BMW, Honda and Bugatti. That's it.